CTIA is a trade association representing the wireless communications industry in the United States. The association was established in 1984 and is headquartered in Washington, D.C. It is a 501 non-profit membership organization, and represents wireless carriers and suppliers, and manufacturers and providers of wireless products and services. CTIA operates certification programs for the wireless industry and publishes wireless industry surveys. It has also sponsored various public service initiatives related to wireless. It was originally known as the Cellular Telecommunications Industry Association until 2004, and later the Cellular Telecommunications and Internet Association. The organization has since operated under its initialism only, but subtitled as CTIA, the Wireless Association until 2015. History CTIA was established in May 1984 as the Cellular Telecommunications Industry Association. In 2000, the organization merged with the Wireless Data Forum and became the Cellular Telecommunications and Internet Association. Its name was changed to CTIA. The Wireless Association in 2004, Tom Wheeler served as Chief Executive Officer CEO of CTIA from 1992 to 2004. He was appointed Chairman of the Federal Communications Commission by President Barack Obama and confirmed by the United States Senate in November 2013. Steve Largent became President and CEO in November 2003, serving until 2014. Meredith Atwell Baker became CTIA's president and CEO in June 2014. Issue advocacy Spectrum When Baker was named president and CEO, she identified Spectrum as a policy priority. She has testified before Congress on the issue, and in a March 2016 media call, Baker said the industry is ready to invest billions of dollars to fund Spectrum and new infrastructure, suggesting the "...Spectrum pipeline should become a national priority." Because 100 MHz of spectrum is equal to $30 billion to the economy and 1 million jobs." In 2016, CTIA released reports outlining the importance of U.S. leadership in 5G and high-band spectrum. CTIA praised the FCC's unanimous vote in July 2016 to allow wireless operations above 24 GHz. Topic: Broadband and net neutrality. CTIA supported the FCC retaining the 2010 Open Internet Orders Mobile Specific approach to regulations, given the unique engineering, competitive, and legal conditions of 4G LTE, rather than a one-size-fits-both wired and wireless approach. In a letter from Baker to Rep. Greg Walden R. Orr, Chairman of the House Energy Subcommittee on Communications and Technology, in September 2014. In January 2015, Baker testified on the importance of an open Internet but against the reclassification of mobile broadband as a Title II common carrier service under the Communications Act of 1934 at a hearing held by the House Energy and Commerce Subcommittee on Communications and Technology. Two months later, CTIA, the National Cable and Telecommunications Association NCTA, and Oostelecom, filed legal challenges against the FCC's net neutrality order reclassifying broadband under Title II. <laughs> <laughs> Wireless infrastructure CTIA has helped lead efforts to remove regulatory barriers, at all levels of government, to the deployment of wireless infrastructure, particularly small cells and distributed antenna systems Topic: <laughs> Industry trade shows 
CTIA has organized trade shows for the wireless industry, including the CTIA Wireless Show, and MobileCon. In January 2013, it was announced that both events would be replaced by a new event known as CTIA Super Mobility, first held in September 2014. The following year's conference featured 1,000 exhibitors and attracted 30,000 visitors. In June 2016, CTIA announced a partnership with the GSM Association, under which Super Mobility Week would be relaunched as Mobile World Congress Americas beginning in 2017. Topic: CTIA Wireless Foundation. CTIA's non-profit organization, CTIA Wireless Foundation supports initiatives that use wireless technology to assist communities. The foundation partnered with American Red Cross to create the Text to HELP program to help aid victims of the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami, Hurricane Katrina, and the 2010 Haiti earthquake. The program enabled wireless customers to send text messages to make donations to American Red Cross relief efforts. The foundation is a major sponsor of PulsePoint, a no cost app that alerts users of nearby cardiac arrest emergencies so they can offer first aid before first responders arrive. The foundation also supports Text for Baby, a no cost mobile texting program that provides information to parents and caregivers on prenatal care and baby health and parenting. Topic See also Cibernet spun out of CTIA in 2003 Mobile Web <laughs>